Well, good morning, guys. Another beautiful morning in Lafayette. These days are numbered for sure. But I'd just give you a quick update on some of the things I've done. Um, up top here is the new LED outside light. And I took the other one off. It was a fluorescent light and it needed some help. So this one's a brand new LED. And I stuck a Bluetooth inside of it so that I've got a remote and uh, grab it here. So I got a remote control. The light switch for it is right here. And you can't see it, but uh, what I'll do is I'll go to nighttime. So bringing you out here at night, probably can't see anything, but this is the yard light. And then I'm back. So uh, really brightens it up and then I'm able to dim that down. So that was pretty cool. Um, that light was only like 80 bucks and it's aluminum, um, pretty heavy duty. The other, I've been working on these lights in here. And so these old switches, if you press them, they turn green. And what I did was kind of reverse engineer the whole system. And I'll show a picture showing the switch. And then there's some relays in the back. I'll show a picture. And then I made a wiring diagram. I'll show a picture of that. But what I did was I figured out exactly how it worked. And then in doing that, I found where these buttons are. Um, I ended up ordering a new button. Um, I can probably have one of these uh, things made here, but um, what it is is that whole relay in the back, there's a, uh, LED light here and if the current runs in one direction it's red and if you reverse the current it turns green and so the primary reason for all of that back there is so that we have a momentary switch so that when you press it it hits the relay and then what it does is it switches the current to the switch here and makes it green so figured all of that out and replaced them. So this one didn't have a switch. And so now I've got all of my lights in here. Um, also, I've got my top light. And then another one that's never worked is the bottom. And I don't think you can see it, but they are up underneath the here and they run all the way through the back. And what I'll do is I'll switch tonight. The other light is this one right here. And I thought it looked pretty cool. It's all the window ones. And the other one I got is the upper. So that's the one at a way a day. It kept shutting off. And the lower one that we've never had working before. Uh, probably can't see it very well, but there's some lights. They're real faint, which is nice. Come back here into the bathroom area. Let's see if we can get it to turn on a little bit. And then back here in the bedroom, it's got it behind and in front and it's real subtle. It's just enough to uh, give some nice light and it's 160. Oh, that's with the outside light on too. Um, but this says 184. And if I come over here and I shut this off and run back over. Um, so I don't know how many watts it is. I can't remember, but, um, I don't know. I thought it looked pretty cool, especially this one and coming back here during the day. Um, 
I thought those lights were pretty, pretty cool. Um, I'll take you back here and I'll show you the, uh, the relays. I don't think I have a video of them. I ended up finding out this light in here, it never turned on, but the LEDs, you can only run power through one way. And so, um, wired it up the other way. So this is my relays. Um, I had this thing right here. I don't know what in the heck happened, but I switched everything over and rewired this. Um, and then I got these new relays. These are 16 amps. So these right here are basically two cherry switches and then a momentary relay. So when you hit the button, this thing right here pops <clears throat> and flicks this. And so it's kind of a mechanical, um, I don't know, it's pretty awesome. But this does the same thing. When you press the button, it switches this over, turns it on, and you hit the button again, and it switches it off. And these different relays, what it does is it changes the polarity of the uh, current to the light switch in the back. <clears throat> I didn't get them in time, but I'm gonna replace these with some LED fixtures. Um, so that's my lights. The other thing I got was this thermostat and it hides, to give you some bearing, they stuck it in, which is fine, they stuck it inside of here and see if I can block some of this light. It's old, older, it did work. Um, but I found Prevo and Barbecue, he showed it to me originally and I kind of dismissed it, but found this um, thermostat and all it has is a uh, phone cord on the back. Um, they've already done all the work for you, but basically you just take the phone cord out of this one. I left it here because there was a hole and then I plugged it in this one. Um, the thought behind putting it out here is it's Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and also it gets the temperature from out here. So it shows 66 degrees. I didn't want it inside of here getting the temperature. Um, and then also it does um, outside, but it's pretty cool because they have an app. Um, see if I can get it here. So you could do Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. And so I could do either one. So I can do Wi-Fi. So I can do this anywhere um, there's internet. So it shows 66 and 47. And so there's four zones. And so I'm on zone one. So I can turn it on. And then I can turn the fan low to high. I can turn it heat pump furnace, fan only, and I can change the zones or I can turn it back off. And so I can do this within range for Bluetooth. So if I'm sitting back in bed and I want to turn one of the air conditioners on or off, I can do that. Or if I'm inside the house and I want to turn the air on before I come out, I can do it. So it was only a couple hundred bucks. I'll put a link to where I bought it, but that is pretty awesome um, because these are older HVAC units. And so I didn't think you could get it, but these people did their homework. All you do is you plug it in and it works. So can't make it any easier than that. So that's a thermostat. Um, so I'll, like I said, I'll show you the link. I was gonna put this inside. And so that's why I got white. I, but I figured out I wanted it out here and so I drilled a hole, but I should have got it black, um, but oh well. The last item I was going to show you is the Aqua Hot. Um, I've since, there was a thing inside of here. I'll see if I can show a picture. I took it off because I think, I don't know, I think this looks a lot nicer, but I totally cleaned out the inside of here and did a stainless steel polish on it. But I'll go ahead and take the cover off. So now we've got the cover off. One thing I... The issue I had was I hit the button inside and everything would turn on, but then it would eventually turn off. And so I thought, well, no big deal. It was the uh, um, nozzle. So I replaced the nozzle, wouldn't work. And so I was thinking it's probably electrical. 
So there's a bolt right here and there's another one right on the other side. Basically you loosen those and you can take this whole thing out and there's a plate in there and um, ended up figuring out there's also some um, they call them um, I forget what they're called I'll put the, the name up here but there's four of them um, two of them the the limits high limits temperature limits there's one two for the electrical and two for this and so I tested them and they they both tested out fine and I cleaned the plate up and then I also tested um, I'll see if I can show a picture there's a photo cell and I tested it and it was fine. And then I was able to do a test on this. And so basically um, you unplug this cable harness and then you put a voltage on two of the wires and this is supposed to shoot an arc and it didn't. And so they said to replace it. And so for me, I'm like, well, if it doesn't work, I can't hurt it. So I removed it took it inside, cleaned up all the electrodes, and this is solid state, right? There's nothing to go wrong with this. I ended up hooking it up to my battery and it shot power across it. So then I came back in, totally reinstalled everything, cleaned all the connectors, and then I jumpered the wires again down here and it shot the, uh, the arc across it. So then I put everything back together hit the buttons and it worked. So saved myself, I don't know how much. These I think are two or three hundred dollars. So if it goes out again, I know it's the coil, but the these things either work or they don't. And it's just windings of copper wire. So I don't know why it would not not work. Um, I would think this would go out first, but um, I don't know. But that's it, I'm gonna put the cover back on. So I got the cover back on. I just thought it looked nice to have it cleaned in here versus having some old wood. Get this shut. But just wanted to say, uh, that's kind of it, but I've got some videos I'm gonna be doing here coming up. We are going to Pigeon Forge uh, for fall break. So I think that'll be a neat test of all of this uh, the other thing i ended up breaking down and getting a uh, pc i'm a mac guy so but the victrons the wake speed and the batteries they all run off of a pc windows program and i just hated it so these are a hundred dollars so i just bought me a computer so i'm gonna get it set up but um all that to say we're gonna run her down to pigeon forge um, so that video will be coming up and then also on top i'll show you a picture i ended up um, ordering some sigs solar panels and i'll show kind of a picture what they are but they're flexible it's not the uh, glass panels that don't bend and don't hold up it's it's a really high-end panel and they're self-adhesive and so I got 1440 watts um, for the top and there'll be three arrays and so I've got um, the 100 by 30, 100 by 20 and uh, forget what 7515 um, for the different panels this is another relay, I thought I'd buy another one. But I've got, those are getting manufactured and sent to me, and I'm gonna do a test on them and see how they work. If they work good, I'm gonna try to import some and sell them. They're high end, you can walk on them. They're supposed to do real well in shade. So I wanna get them in, I wanna touch them, feel them, test them, and show you guys videos. And then if you're interested in them, um, you can try to sell them off website. But um, I ended up taking also these inverters and I ended up taking my two good batteries, making 24 volt, 
and hooking these up to them, I did a factory reset and they worked perfect. So I sold three of them and I kept one. So I'm going to have this set up and the bus set up um, to test the panels. They're not going to come until November. So I don't know, I'm thinking this guy is probably going to be in storage, but if I can have this to play with, um, I want to get those solar panels tested and uh, see how they do. I'm kind of excited about that. So I'll have 1440 of uh, solar panels. So I'm thinking maybe a thousand to 1100 watts of power. So I'm hoping that's enough to run the air conditioner if I want to, one of them, or at least totally cha charge the batteries. Because one thing I found out is, you know, I've got 10,000. 200 watts, watt hours, whatever it is, volt amps of uh, power in there. It lasts a long time and it's neat, but you got to charge it up. So then do you use the generator? I can use the alternator. I can use the shore cord, but it'd be awesome. I could just park this outside. I don't have to plug it in anymore. It'd totally uh, fill it back up um, with the uh, solar. So I've got that coming but i uh, just wanted to do a quick video of you know my lights on the outside the inside my aqua hot tell you what's coming up got some more videos so hit like and subscribe um, i've got some people reaching out to me wanting me to try to do an upgrade for them i would love to i'm not a professional but i think it, that would be pretty pretty sweet um Prevo and Barbecue and those guys in Texas want me to roll to Texas to kind of show the bus off. I think that would be totally awesome. So keep uh, keep the encouragement coming in. Um, and uh, who knows, we'll get rolling around. I've gone from trying to sell this thing to, to falling in love with it again. I've shined up the rims. Um, so they look pretty sweet. Got new tires on it. Um, you know, I've got some engine work probably and uh, cleaning. Everything works right now, but uh, who knows what, what coming up. Love to do another paint job on it or just make this one pop again. So thanks for watching. Uh, hit me a comment. I enjoy getting the feedback um, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.